Hi guys, Barnaby for Spurred On, and this is your regular Monday edition of Five Things We Learned. This week, of course, all about what we learned from the Crystal Palace game on Saturday, which we won 1-0 to get three points on the board in our second game, two games earlier than last season. Things to be cheerful about. First thing I want to talk about that I felt we learned is all about Vincent Janssen and Harry Kane. The first time in so long that Mauricio Pochettino has played two strikers on the same pitch. Now, for those of you who've been hearing that he played two up front, I don't totally agree with that. Harry Kane kind of dropped into the 10. Deli Ali, of course, was on the bench. I didn't know at the time, but turns out Deli Ali had been ill for three days last week, and that's the reason why he wasn't starting. Things that I was most impressed with, absolutely Vincent Janssen's hold-up play. The way he backs into his defender, wins free kicks, very smartly winning free kicks that sometimes I don't think Harry Kane does enough because he's kind of a bigger guy and he's always trying to uh, be strong on the ball and not be seen to be pushed off it by the defenders. But few times, the balls were coming up way too high, really, for Janssen to have any right to win, and he'd get knocked over by the centre-back, getting us free kicks in decent areas in the opposition half of the pitch. Also, Harry dropping deep worked well. He linked up the play really nicely at times with Christian Eriksen and Eric Lamella, and uh, getting the ball into Vincent Janssen's feet. Little one-twos were working well. Uh, if I remember rightly, Vincent Janssen played one lovely through ball uh, through with his back to goal, just left foot down the corner, I think, for Danny Rose to run onto in the first half. And, of course, he made the right run for the chance that he probably, well, he undoubtedly should have scored when Deli Ali, with his first touch, played him through with an absolutely exquisite first-time ball. But you've got to be in those positions to have a chance at scoring those goals and although that one skewed off his right foot wide of the goal with Hennessy coming towards him, he will be continually getting goals if he gets into those positions and makes those runs over the course of this season. So the first thing I felt we learned, it was a good experiment from Pochettino. There will be teams like Palace all season coming to the lane, just playing 11 behind the ball, trying to hit us on the break. And in those matches, I think having Janssen up front with Harry just behind him might really work for us. So I like the way it worked. We should have got a lot more goals. We didn't. So that's the first thing I felt we liked. Second thing, moving on from that, is Christian Eriksen a little bit out of sorts at the moment? I didn't think he had a great game. Admittedly, I wasn't so negative about him as a lot of fans in there were in the lane were. They were really getting groany behind him every time he didn't do something that they deemed to be Christian Eriksen worthy. For me, he has looked a bit quiet first couple of games uh, and over pre-season a little bit as well. But his time will come. He goes on these little, uh, these little quiet spells, but then he'll have a burst of scoring goals. For me, I think what he needs is to score a free kick. I think that will really set his confidence back up. Uh, and he hasn't scored one of those for a while. I don't know. I can't really think of many since the Swansea game where he scored those two free kicks away last season. You correct me if I'm wrong in the uh, comments section below. But I feel like he needs something like that to believe in himself again right at the top level of his own confidence because he really is technically one of our most gifted players and I think anyone who thinks Christian Eriksen isn't worthy of a place in this Spurs team is absolutely mad. But what I will say is it is good that we now have options. If Eriksen's tired or he's a bit off the play, we can bring Ali in for him or bring uh, Janssen in for him and play Harry a bit deeper. And uh, it's good to, it's better to have options that we do this season. But I think Christian Eriksen's still one of our most brilliant players and he will come good. And I'd be very surprised if he didn't get 10 goals and 15 assists this season. He's just been a bit quiet at the start. Third up thing that I want to talk about that I feel like we've learned, it's not really something we've learned because I think it's become the case over the last six or eight months or so, but once again, Carl Walker and Danny Rose had unbelievable performances up and down those flanks against Crystal Palace. And I think they are the best two fullbacks in the country. Certainly they're the best fullback pairing that any team in the country has at the moment. Andros Townsend kept uh, flicking from one side to the other to try and take them on, and Danny and Carl had him in their pockets the whole time. He didn't. A few cutbacks and t uh, times he shot over the bar, which of course we've seen many, many a time over the years at Spurs, but he never got himself in a really dangerous position to score, and let's face it, it if he was going to score an absolute blind, it would have been that game against his old team at the lane. But I just think that Kyle and Danny really, really kept him quiet, kept the other players quiet as well, but their attacking instincts are improving all the time, getting good deliveries into the box, knowing when to get to the byline, knowing when to cut inside and restart the ball again or get it across the, the pitch, switching the play. Just fantastic stuff. And there was one piece of, of work in the second half where uh, Danny Rose was incredibly brave, putting his head in where he could have got a boot in the head and really saved a possible chance from Crystal Palace. So I was very impressed with the way both of them played and I do think they're going from strength to strength. 
And I'd be very surprised. I know Luke Shaw's come back from Man United uh, from his injury, but I'd be very surprised if Danny uh, Rose and Kyle Walker didn't both start Sam Allardyce's first game as England manager next month. Fourth thing I wanted to talk about that felt we learnt, really got an gr- uh, opportunity to see Victor Wanyama at his best for Spur- in a Spurs shirt for the first time. Not just saying because he got his goal, it was a brave header, it was good movement, uh, anticipated well Harry Kane's first header from the corner, but he worked really well in kind of, I think the fact that we had uh, Janssen and Kane on the pitch meant that having both Dyer and Wanyama playing in those defensive midfield roles kind of balanced it out a bit more. Whereas if it had just been Harry with Delhi, Christian and uh, Eric Lamella behind him, then maybe like it felt a bit, especially in the first half against Everton, maybe having those both kind of defensive minded midfielders leaves us with a lack of creativity coming from central midfield but I felt it really worked against Crystal Palace they pretty much bossed the midfield he does give away the odd silly foul Um, obviously Spurs I think topped the rankings last season in terms of how many fouls we gave away so we do do that to stop the breaks but we need to be careful not to give away too many set pieces uh, where they can whip the ball into the box because as I said last week we don't always defend them very well but no Wanyama I thought was you know endless tireless kept uh, winning the ball back and giving it easy. Uh, he doesn't try anything that's outside of his skill set. You're, you're, rare, you're rarely going to see him try and play a 40, 50, 60 yard, yard ball over the top. You're not going to see him try and whack it from 40 yards. I think he knows what he's capable of and he just sticks to that and that's incredibly important for a footballer. And it's great to see him in full beast mode and getting that winner on Saturday afternoon. The last thing I want to talk about that I felt that we learned like I mentioned earlier before, Deli Ali, of course, was on the bench. He only got 20 minutes or so, but I felt he proved in that 20 minutes that he is still our best attacking threat coming from attacking midfield. The ball that I mentioned before that he played over was absolutely unbelievable. He got himself in a great position with that kind of shot from the ball that was cut back to him. Just hit the top of the net uh, on, uh, over the bar and hit the top of the net. I thought that was in from where I was sitting. And he just stretched the play. He does that so well. Stretches the play, brings defenders out to him, making space for other attacking players. And I think he's going to be starting to play himself into form now. We've got this big game against Liverpool on Saturday. That is a game that Delhi will be all over. He loves the big occasions. He loves all that. There was one moment, I have to say, with the... Uh, I think it was the left back of Crystal Palace. I think he gave him a bit of a pinch while the referee wasn't looking. And Delhi did rise to it a little bit. We're going to be getting a lot of that this season from players playing against Deli Ali. They know he's got a bit of a short fuse. He's got to work on that. He, he just fronted up to the, to the guy on Saturday, but he didn't do anything else. He then ran on, and, ne- and that was when he nearly scored. So I think hopefully there's been a bit of an improvement in that side of him. Definitely his quality on the ball in terms of passing and getting in good positions will only get better and better. And I can't wait for him to get his first goal and for Harry Kane to get his first goal so we can start on the run of confidence and success. I think it's going to happen again this season. How close can we get, guys? Let us know what you think in the comments section below. Can we put another run in for a title tilt? The Manchester clubs look dangerous, let's face it. Chelsea grinding out results because Conte is a passionate manager. He's got his players playing for him. But I think that fourth place is definitely up for grabs between us, Arsenal and Liverpool. And if we can get a good start and win our few next few games, we've got a big win against Liverpool, for instance, I think maybe we could steal a march on some of those clubs and maybe aim even higher than that. Anyway, guys, let us know what you thought of that in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel on YouTube. Follow us on Twitter and Facebook, at Spurred on TV. Come on, you Spurs. Hi guys, Barmy for Spurdown outside the lane. We just beat Palace 1-0. Spoke to these guys last week, speak to you again. What did you make of it? Who impressed you today? Wanyama. Simple as that, Victor Wanyama. Is it just because he scored?